you might be thinking the answer is $3, but that's not even close. All right, let's slow down and look at this carefully. We've got six divided by two thirds times three. Most people glance at that and think, oh, easy, the threes cancel, and six divided by two equals three. Boom, done. But hold on, that's where everyone messes up. That little fraction, two thirds, changes everything. So let's break it down the right way. Now, according to PEMDAS, that's parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, we handle parentheses first. Here, we already have the fraction two thirds, which stays as it is. Next, we move to multiplication and division. And here's the key. Multiplication and division have equal priority. That means you go from left to right, not one before the other. So, starting left to right, we take six divided by two thirds first. And whenever we divide by a fraction, we use the KCF rule. Keep, change, flip. Keep the first number, six, change the division to multiplication, and flip two thirds to three over two. So now it becomes six times three over two. Let's do that. Six times three over two equals 18 over two equals nine. So far, we've got nine times three still left. Multiply that and we get 27. So the correct answer is $27, not $3. Pretty wild, right? That tiny fraction flipped the whole thing upside down. It's not about canceling numbers, it's about following the order of operations correctly. If you've got a different way of seeing it, or think there's a catch I missed, drop your argument down in the comments. I'll check it out. Thanks for watching, and hey, if you actually got $27 before I explained it, you're in that rare 10% who truly understand how fractions and division play together.